Like, what's the risk of investing into real estate? What do you guys think? Probably the money at the beginning, right? They don't know where to start, maybe? What, what about the money, though? Like, where are they going to get it? Or if they could get help from anybody? You yeah. know where to get money from? Yeah. It's going to be the BOMAD. Bank yeah. of mom and dad. <laughs>
you're in a good relationship with them. Mm -hmm. And when things go south, you have the landlord and tenant board to help mediate everything, right? Yeah. But ultimately, it should be relatively straightforward. At the end of the day, tenants need a place to live. Landlord needs tenants to be able to pay the bills. Yeah, landlords are the ones that invest the capital. So, and tenants don't want to, or they haven't, don't have that capital, so yeah. they rent instead, which is fine. And uh, it should be a good relationship. That's what I think. Yeah, especially if you have like a tenant who's making monthly payments, you kind of want to nurture that relationship and make sure that they're comfortable and happy and they continue to take good care of your property. Yeah, and, and if you like hire, like, like Ken said, we have our own um, property management company. I feel like that's, that takes half, like most of the load off of you as an investor, right? right? And then they're gonna do everything. All you got, they're gonna provide you great service, right? low cost monthly and I think it's totally worth it if you're gonna invest in, you know, in real estate. For sure. That way. For sure. I got a risk. A risk would be what if interest rates go up? Okay. Yep. What if interest rates go up? What would you do? Go well I would say the strategy would depend on, you know, how high the uh, interest rates go up. Yeah. Like but if you don't know. How would you know? Speculative. Right. Okay, so I think a way to do it is to do fixed payments. I don't agree with fixed payments. I think variable is the way to go, especially with the IRDs and things like that to be able to, interest rate differential that is, um, to be able to cancel it, you have huge penalties. But uh, I think with variable, it's only three months interest. And I don't think the rates are gonna go that high. But if they do, if you want to fix fixed payment, you know how much your payments are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you're worried about fixed payments being more expensive than variable, then stretch out the amortization. Go for a 30 year instead of a 25 year. And I think the banks have a, a thing now where if the uh, you're on variable and you see the interest rates starting to go up too fast, you can actually switch to fix without too mortgages. much penalties. Yeah. 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 That's the way to do it. There you go. That's a good one. Any other risks? A recession. Recession's a good one. <laughs> a recession. That's actually a really good one. So what would you do to mitigate that risk? Sell. Live in it. <laughs> no. Just live in it. Yeah, live in it. Live in exactly. it. Rent it out. Live in it. Whatever. Hold it. You don't have to sell. Mm -hmm. no. Just because it's like a stock. If a stock dips, if Tesla dips, you don't have to sell, you hold it. Bitcoin dips, you hold it. You can buy more. And you buy the dip. I was gonna say that dip. you could, uh, it depended on the investment property that you're holding because then you can change your target market. Let's say if you had a, uh, a triplex that's not in a condominium, instead of doing long-term rentals, maybe a short-term rental market is better for you. That's a good point. At least in Toronto, it's, it's kind of bulletproof because we have such a big demand of people here. We're not dependent on one economy. We're not depending on the auto industry to say like in Detroit, for example, when they yeah. crashed, you know what I mean? Like that, that market went down. Mm -hmm. Here, we have a lot of options. Here, the only thing is affordability. The general public can't afford to buy anymore. I think it's, it's kind of getting scary in my opinion. Uh, we'll see what happens with it and what, uh, what happens in the long run. We're still cheap compared to the rest of the world in some of the major cities out there. Yeah. But for still, what still we're behind, used to, it's still behind it's, New York and BC and like, like Monaco and all that stuff you said. London, Paris, Paris San yeah. Fran. So, et cetera, et cetera, Hong and, Kong. And yeah, and all that. The immigration mandates are pretty good. I mean, you know, there's going to be a lot of people moving into the city. So it's just. I don't know what you're waiting for. Yeah. I don't know what you're waiting for if you're looking to buy something. Take action, do it, give us a call. We can help you out. For sure. The only way to sell it, I would say never sell. But if you're selling, make sure you put it into another property. Right. Depending on which stage you're at in life. Maybe you're looking to unwind everything. But yep. in a growing phase, when you're trying to grow your, your assets, whatever, or you're trying to grow your portfolio, Continue buying. Nothing wrong with that. Get over the fear. All right. Thanks for listening. Uh, and we'll catch you next week. Head it up.